Good morning, everybody. We have possibly one of the most beautiful sunrises going on at the moment. <laughs> Look at that. That's nice. That is nice. A good way to start the day. Really, it's going to be some nice blue up there and Yep. I think this calls for a little bit of drone action. Yes, it does. Just like that, gray skies. A little bit cloudy, as you can see. We got Zeus with me. What do you figure, buddy? We got things to do, we're busy. So, um, very good weekend, very productive. A lot of great help, too. So thank you for everybody that came out and helped. It's a really big deal. Good milestone reach, a little bit more to go. Hopefully today it'll be done. I'll be able to show you, I'll show you guys anyways, probably in a little bit. Horsey check, everybody's looking pretty good. Uh, really looks excited. She says, hey man, can I have some scratches? Yep, just a minute here. I just gotta talk to my truck. Truck, start up. Good job, truck. Okay. We're also going to be disconnecting the trailer because it was uh, connected up for bringing in the fence panels. So we gotta get that thing off. Right, Zeus? Uh, busy day, busy day. I'll be back shortly. Well, shortly to you guys, but for me, a little longer. Okay, that's it. Oh, look at Rony. He's having a little sleepy sleeps. Gracie's right there, having a little drinky drinks. Anyhow, it's a beautiful day. It's been very productive, very good. Look at that sun going down. It's not down yet. We had uh, a little bit of horsey playtime earlier. I'm gonna put that up uh, maybe tomorrow. When I get time to put everything together, I have some thoughts that I wanna sort of put out with it important thing to think about because <clears throat> all of these horse behavior videos that I've put up are really about showing you guys you know what horses do um, naturally how they are and kind of as a as an example of what we want to be to them to get what we want so anyways hi V <laughs> A uh, really, really nice day. I thought I would show you guys what's going on. Oh, the fish are busy. Oh, they went down. They were all there. They're, they're right at the um, stick here. Yeah, they're swimming away. Surprisingly enough, these guys are very busy. It's cold, so you'd think that they would just sort of go into some hibernation state of some sorts where they just don't do a lot. But they keep moving. So, big reveal. It's not entirely done, but we're very close. 
Um, and I gotta say, I gotta thank everybody who came out to help, especially, especially with with this last bit, with the with the final push kind of thing. You know, when you're you got a long project and you're kind of like, oh yeah, we're in the beginning. You're sort of, yeah, let's do this, let's do this, let's do. Oh, God, are we still doing this? We're still, do oh, we're making it near the end. We can, yeah. So that was really important, but almost. I mean, just it is just another tick of stuff to do and this will be done but check it out we finally have bam the fencing up <laughs> oh yes that's correct it's got gates open up the gate here come in it is ready well like i mean um almost done it's not quite ready for horses yet. The fencing still needs to be properly secured. And uh, then it's done. Then we'll be working in here. Day, night, rain or shine. We open, see the other gate opens here. Right there, and then we can escape off into the forest. Dun, 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 dun. Anyways. Uh, it's a big deal. It's a huge, huge milestone. I know it's not complete yet, but uh, it's just so close, it might as well be. I mean, just a, another hour or two or something like that. And then a little more uh, regular harrowing of this area. I'm gonna talk about this soon, um, but you know, once you lay down sort of these foundation, the sand and everything, it's gotta sort of season a little. You gotta use it, you gotta step on it, you gotta compact it. And as you do over time, it will, uh, I'm just gonna put that like that for now. Uh, over time, it will it will get to the thickness it's going to get to, kind of like this arena. I mean, this arena used to be fluffier and bigger and stuff, but you know, over time, the weather kind of comes in, the horses are here, you harrow it and harrow it and harrow it. All the really fine particles kind of float away and stuff. Hi, Peggy. So. It's a pretty chill day. Anyways, I thought I'd show you guys that. The, <sighs> it's fenced, which means it's almost usable. This thing's coming along. Only one person guessed what we're doing so far correctly. Anybody else have any more guesses? Let me know what you think. It's getting there. It's slow, it's a very big log. It's kind of old. Um, so having a hard time getting done exactly what we want done for the first part. And then from there, it should be smooth sailing. So, okay, we're gonna get on with one more thing that I wanna do today, one thing I wanna quickly talk about, but I need a horse. So, I think I will go and grab, hmm, maybe Lena. Yeah. Okay, let's go get her, and I'm gonna talk about something really quick that I uh, tried to talk about before. And I'm going to try to do a, a proper, more detailed video, but I want to just get it out really quickly. So, here we go. I'm going to go grab that horse. <laughs> Not that horse. That one. Okay, let's go get her. Okay, everybody. I've got Lena. <laughs> uh, she's going to be our demonstration horse for something that I wanted to talk about. I talk, I'll link. In the description below the video where I started to talk about this because I said I wanted to get to this topic as soon as I could um, but it really required finishing up the back so the back is almost there just got to pick up some parts kind of idea I can now sort of talk a lot more about the things that I actually want to talk about which is horse stuff now what I talked about in the video that I wanted to talk what's the matter what I wanted to talk about um, it was about, so I linked to a video by Ross Jacobs, who, um, was giving an example of how you want a horse to start off on a lunge. I don't know if you'd call it a lunge line. I call it a groundwork circle or, uh, you know, the full or half circle or, or starting off by driving them around. And I talk about groundwork a lot, so I'll put a link to the playlist of groundwork videos that I've done. Don't, don't do it. She's thinking about it. 
And so the um, the idea being that that we we do groundwork to get these horses moving in ways and places that we would like them to. And uh, you know, there, there's a big difference between driving and leading. So groundwork is is a little bit about leading and a little bit about driving. And in this case, I want to talk about driving. Would you please just back up? There. Uh, and so Ross's video, and I'll link again to that because I think it's a really great video. But there's a little minor change that I would make, and I'm going to try to explain why I have learned differently <clears throat> and also teach what I've learned because I believe it's good, obviously. Who wouldn't? Both methods are incredibly effective. I have no problems. I'm not saying they have any problems or it's wrong. The main goal is, is that your horse is thinking about yielding. And so, um, to give you a little bit of context, what we're going to do is do a very basic groundwork circle uh, around me, but what I always want to talk about, what I'm always trying to teach for this, it isn't so much about the circle, and even Ross is trying to explain that as well, is that it's not about the circle. Um, you have to have a very good <clears throat> initial uh, response to what you're asking for. When you have that, the rest will sort of fall in line. Now, I'm going to end up paraphrasing, so I think I'll just kind of go with what I think and what I usually teach is whenever you're doing groundwork or you're riding or something like that, your, your initial go, your initial, like this is where we're going, whether you're on their back or whether you're on the ground and you're telling them to do something, the first step, the first movement will set up the rest of the activity to be really good or not so good. And so that's what we want to do. That's what we want to talk about here. And I have an idea of how to do this better, but I don't have all the equipment with me at the moment. But to give a quick summary of how I expect this to go. When I go to do my lunge work or circle work, um, I have every expectation that the horse is going to make initial steps to yield away from me. So that's what driving is all about. They are yielding out of the space of something that you're using to drive, whether it's your feet or you got a rope and you're kind of doing something, or you got a little stick or something like that and you're shaking it around, they have to yield away from, they have to yield away from that object or thing so, so that uh, they're, 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 they're going in the way that you want them to go. So I'm gonna see if I can't get this kind of right. I'm gonna lower this down a little bit. I want you guys to pay attention to how her feet go and how my feet go. Now, when I start my circle, a little bit different than Ross, he starts his circle by making a drive line that is just a little bit ahead of the horse. My drive line is more towards the shoulder or the girth area in here. And she will know that she needs to kind of move out and even almost do a side pass. If I were to come over here, I don't know if she'll show it. But she'll move her butt. Now I need their head. But in time, I'll be able to get, just from here, I should be able to get her to, to side pass over like that. And I've shown it before when I got her to go over a, a barrel. She'll side pass over top of a barrel. Um, and we want them thinking about that. We want them thinking, when I ask you to go and I drive, <clears throat> I'm going to give direction but I'm going to give a little pressure, just, you know, just to kind of come out. So I'm going to see if I can't show this uh, today. And uh, Lena's a really good example because she's just such a lovely horse and really easy to do this with. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to come out here just a little ways. Come with me, Lena. Now, just a second. Okay. All right, so I'm way out here now, and I'm gonna stand this up, a little less in my way. What I want for her to do, when I start this exercise, I'm going to put my hand out for direction. Then, if she doesn't get the idea, my movement is going to be towards her. 
not to her nose, but more towards her body. So if I'm here and I say, okay, Lena, get going, and she doesn't go, this is enough, this should be enough. Now she's come forward, not what I want. Not what I want. What I want for her to do is to sort of, here, hang on a second. Back up or you're in my space. Back up, back up, thank you. What I want for her to do is instead of just going straight, stay there, instead of just going straight, the angle that we want is for her to kind of sidestep over and do this. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully I can show that here. So you back up. Stay there though. Okay, are you ready? So I need you to go this way. And I'll get a little movement. I'm gonna go straight towards her. There. That's good. So she would yield away. Now I'm going to do this a few times and hopefully I can get the angle correct. But I have a different idea of how to get this done. So we're going to try that in the next video. Okay, Lena, one more time. Ready? Go this way. Now go forward for me. And she yields out of the way. Try that one more time from this direction. Okay, hey, back up. Back up. Back up. Good. Stay with me. Okay, first we provide direction and then drive. So direct and then drive. Not bad. Back up, back up, back up. Uh, another little tiny tidbit there. Uh, whenever you're doing the draw to come back, <clears throat> they should sort of pivot on their front foot and draw to you, but you should also have one step that kind of puts them backwards. And I would apply that to riding as well. Um, let's give this one more go. And we'll see how this goes. I'll back her up in a frame a little better. Okay, so I'll have her go. She should yield to the to her right. Ready? Get moving. And she does. Now I'm gonna maintain a bit of pressure right here. And I'll show you how effective this is <laughs> to get her to stay out of the circle. We'll get her to pick up a little. I'll put a little more pressure on there. Just like if I was riding. So, let's go. Come on, Nina. That was in. Good. Yield. And back. So hard to get it really smooth within just a small sort of space that I'm trying to stay in camera, but I really, the, the, the end result is that you get a horse thinking that its first movement shouldn't be forward. It shouldn't be to push you out of the way. It should be you going into their space and they've got to yield out of it. They got to get out of the way. If I come in here like this, she should just move. All right, so come on. Right, if I come into her space like this, she should be moving already. She's not, I'm gonna push her a little. <laughs> I shouldn't have to push though. She should already know, I'm gonna come in here and she should just yield. And she should yield. There, she's yielding, I'll pet her. It's a little, I've been a little bit rough with her. I don't wanna do that. But there should be that idea that they should yield and, and give you a respectful amount of, I know you're a good girl. I'm gonna let you go. I got the gate open. I'm gonna have to be careful here. But, but you know, they give you that respectful amount of space 
so that you know you don't get stepped on you don't get squished you don't get pushed over that's not supposed to happen they're supposed to make some way for you and you might have to kind of bump into them a bit to get it done safely hopefully you know don't do it if it's, if it's sort of a crazy horse but you know overall it sh they, they should just make that space they should just yield when you ask for um, but that always starts with the very first step so if I come in here she should start making a little movement to get out of my way unless I ask her so come here for a big hug something like that it'll be a little different but she'll know that she'll feel that so. anyhow I think that's about it for now thanks for watching everybody uh, if you have any questions let me know I still have hair on my face you know you're shedding oh my goodness it's getting to that season that we all know that when you touch your horse, you turn into a fluff ball. It's not that bad yet. It's getting there. Okay, guys, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm going to cover this in real proper detail soon because uh, I can def I've got some ideas of how to get that done. But I really wanted to cover the idea that when you do start any groundwork, any work with your horse, it should be a to have them yield out of your space, but not with trouble. We're not looking for trouble. We don't want them getting out of your space like you gotta make some kind of war with them or some kind of fight. It's not a fight, it's just, please move. Please draw. See? Like that. That would be the best. That's the, that's the absolute best, in my opinion, of a relationship with a horse. For everything that you can do with them. Right? Such a good girl, such a good horse. She was free. Can you believe it? Somebody didn't want her. They wanted her so little, they gave her away. Right. Okay guys, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna go close the gate. Make sure to pick up my halter. <laughs>